Good morning. Um, it is Friday, September 8th, and I've gotten up real early. Uh, but I got up at uh, quarter past six, I think, yeah. And um, it's now seven. I um, have made coffee. It's still steeping. It's probably ready for me at this point. And just splashing water on my face to wake me up. Brady's still sleeping right over there. Closed door. Hence the quiet talking. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have a trade show today in Jones, Oklahoma. Um, it is not surprising if you've never heard of that. So, yeah, tiny town. But yeah, it's at Jones. So I'm going to take you along, um, and we'll see how it goes today. I'll keep you posted and show you some footage of hopefully the madness that the event is, because that would be fantastic <laughs> and good for business. Hello! I am leaving the show right now. It's been a very, very long day, um, and I didn't end up getting any footage at the show because it was awkward to film so close to people and they could totally hear me and all that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm walking out, got my cash box, some stuff because I will not be the one back there tomorrow. Brady's going to work for me. It's hot and sweaty and business is pretty slow. <laughs> uh, it's not really the kind of place where my shirts fit. Um, but maybe tomorrow will be better. So we'll see. Good morning. It is um, Thursday, September 21st and currently blogging on my phone. So sorry about the bad quality. But um, basically shows um, are Thursday through Sunday. And this is the start of a long all weekend show. And so um, I'm going to try and, and uh, vlog through it and just kind of give a process. Obviously, it's not the full process because I've been doing a lot of stuff pre-now to prepare. Um, but there'll be some of it. Sorry. Um, it's always really overwhelming come this point. So... Um, bear with me through that because uh, it's never the only thing that I have to do um, currently I am have to do some work for sort of screen printing some graphic design work and um, then going to um, a little bit later um, go and drive Margo so there's a lot and so I've got some things to mail shirts to pick up all kinds of stuff besides just prepping and loading the car for tomorrow um, which actually for tonight because t we're setting up tonight um, so yeah here we go it's going to be a long day <laughs> but um I'll try and bring you along and let you kind of see this process hopefully it's not too horrible okay so I just am driving currently uh, just mailed packages that needed to get mailed out from Etsy um, so yeah the day is going by um, finished hanging out with Margo and we went to the, the market and which I had never been to before so that was really fun um, yeah now I'm headed home to work and start the packing and prepping process hopefully maybe we'll see okay um, 
show this weekend. Um, it's been madness. I've been so busy and didn't pick up shirts until 4.30, I believe, or so. And then didn't have anything else ready. I was working up until that point. Loaded the car. Started loading the car. Actually, Brady loaded it when he got home. And we were planning to load his car and then leave. And we ended up having to him load my car because I was still packing and getting everything together. And him load his car also. I am determined that this is not going to be how it is for every show. But so far, it's been this way in preparation before every show. And it's rough. But I am determined to figure out a system, figure out how to not have procrastinated. It's unintentional. Um, I mean, there there have been a few times where I definitely procrastinated, but there I have been working my butt off all week, so I feel like I should have been getting something done. Um, anyway, we're on the road, headed to set up. Um, I'll try and do a time lapse setting up um, just because that would be fun to fit into this um, but yeah Brady's in front of me I'm just following along um, on our way to the middle of nowhere Oklahoma for the fin and feather fall festival which is starts tomorrow um, so we're setting up tonight and then I'll finish tomorrow morning from about 7 a.m. till 9 p.m. Um, they have an additional setup time then and then we can set up tonight until 9. We probably will get there about 7, maybe a little before. Um, so hopefully that's enough time for us to set up. But it'll probably be kind of a late night for Brady driving back. Because he's got to work tomorrow. And then he'll rejoin tomorrow evening. Um, if you can tell, the car is packed. Next to me too. Uh, I've got snacks and I just finished some taquitos some cheesy jalapeno taquitos from Quick Trip for dinner. Um, real healthy. Got my Coke Zero, vanilla Coke Zero here with me and just trucking along. Got an ice drink as well. Um, several of those for the weekend and some other bars and some uh, nutrition bars that we bought in New Zealand that we have left over from, from there. Um, have those, some of those too. So got like an hour of driving now. <laughs> Maybe a little less, I'm not sure. Um, we'll see. Oh, so I'm not going to get there at 7. It's going to be more like 8. Hopefully before 8. Oh, well, that's a lot later than I was hoping because that only leaves an hour of setting up, which means a lot more to do tomorrow morning beforehand. But we'll see. <clears throat> Hopefully it's all right. <laughs> duration of the show um, and Brady and I got in set up quite a bit didn't finish but got quite a bit done taking off my makeup and I'm in bed um, ready for an early morning tomorrow finishing setting up and then a long day of show um, I forgot to get footage of setting up so I'm sorry about that but uh, I will try to get some footage tomorrow and then throughout the show and tear down and all of that. It's now about 10.40 in the evening and I'm so tired. So, good night. Hello. Um, I am at the trade show and it is, let's see, I'm not sure. Um, not quite 4.30. It ends at 6. And it is so hot. It's so hot. It's really awkward to film because there are people walking around everywhere. Uh, but, so yeah, I'm feeling uncomfortable. Um, but it's really hot. It's been really hot all day. I've got my 
braid with like, I put it in a bun and then I braided the end of my hair because it's so hot, just sweating all day. It's 90, um, it was the high today, I don't know what the heat index was with that, but it's hot and we're in a barn and we've got fans. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. There's um, two of those. The other one's over there. See it? That's it. So, yeah. It's hot and crowded in the little tiny booth. Um, but yeah, it's been okay. We'll see how it finishes. But I'm really tired and ready for a cold shower and to go to bed. But Brady's coming tonight and so I'm very excited because I know it's silly but I miss him. So I'm ready for him to get here. But he's not off work yet. Hopefully soon. Hi! It is um, about 6.20 and the show is over for today. Um, I am just so nasty and hot. My hair is disgusting. Um, basically sweated all of my makeup off. I know I've got the smell. I just, oh, it was a really hot day. Um, I really think that their buildings need to be air conditioned. Um, if you're gonna have that many people in there. Um, I mean, I get that that's a privileged thing that we have here and take for granted and all of that, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna take it for granted. I think we need the AC in there. It's just, I literally, we got here a little after seven this morning, like 7.20, and I have been sweating all day. Um, I finally quit now that I'm blasting myself with the AC in my car. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, got my seat laid back. I'm gonna take a little siesta before um, Brady gets to town and picks up uh, Bob and Betty. And we all go to dinner. Um, Shirley is in her car resting as well. Um, because we are exhausted. It has been a long day. I've got a heat headache. Um, it's like back here. And then of course like up here too. Um, from the heat. And I know that I need to drink more water. But I drank a lot of liquids today. More than normal. And I still have a headache. It was just so hot. <laughs> so hot. Um my clothes are like wet with sweat it's disgusting crap i forgot to grab a shirt man so usually what i do is i grab a shirt to wear oh whoops sorry <laughs> almost dropped the phone um so what i do is i generally grab a shirt from stock to wear for the following day of the show um and so, yeah, I forgot. And <laughs> let me tell you a little secret. I didn't bring <laughs> any other shirts. <laughs> this shirt, my arrowhead, <laughs> that I wore yesterday. Oh, ugh, hair. Ugh. Um, so this shirt, I wore it yesterday. I slept in it last night. I wore it today. And I sweated it yesterday, by the way. Wore it today, and I'm drenched in sweat. I didn't bring another shirt on this trip because I was just gonna wear a shirt from stock each day. Yeah. So I didn't even pack another shirt. I got underwear and my jean shorts. And a towel to shower with. It. Yeah, 
but I forgot to grab a shirt. So it looks like I'm gonna be wearing, oh, I did get an under tank in case I did this so I could wear the under tank and change at my booth without being ridiculous. Um, well, without, you know, stripping uh, down. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I did. Um, struggling. But today ended up being okay. Whew, it was not by any means a big selling day. Um, I'm gonna try dropping my prices tomorrow a little bit. Saturdays are always the best day in any any show. One day, two days, three days. Saturday's always the better day. Um, Friday, well, actually, I say that. Affair of the Heart was not that way. Affair of the Heart was Friday was the best day, then Saturday, and then Sunday was awful. Usually, Sundays are awful. They're just, no, nobody's there to buy anything, if anybody's there at all. Um, and Affair of the Heart, the guy in the booth next to us said um, that Fridays, the buyers... Saturdays the lookers and Sunday's dead <laughs> um, and that actually was really true so yeah but generally generally um, Saturday is the better day and so today a couple people across said that it was a pretty dead day tomorrow should be a lot better but it is going to be 90 degrees every day all weekend so better weather is not going to bring more people because it's gonna be hot all of the days um, so yeah wear colors that don't show sweat <laughs> no gray <laughs> um, yeah hopefully Brady brought some shirts We'll see what he brought. I don't know. But I'm ready for him to get here. I'm starting to get hungry too, so I'm starting to get ready for dinner. This little car chat's getting quite long, so I probably should stop. But yeah, I'm trying to do better at vlogging and not being embarrassed about talking to, well, in this case, my phone, because that's all I brought. Um, but I just am not quite to that confidence level yet. Um, yeah, getting over the judgment looks from people walking by and stuff. Um, but I am trying, and so we'll see how that gets better. But yeah, day one down. I have more energy right now talking to you guys than I've had since like 8.30 this morning. Maybe 9. But then 10 o'clock hit and it was slow, and I hadn't sold a shirt yet. <laughs> and I pretty much just got real sleepy, and I've been so sleepy all day. Yeah. And if... <laughs> just in case me saying I was sleepy wasn't enough, there's a yawn for you. But, um, yeah, day one is down. Um, it is hot. The day was busy. We saw a lot of people. I don't know if my prices are too high, um, if it was so hot that people are just like looking through quickly and not actually shopping. Um, Cause it was, the heat level was a like, I don't wanna do anything. I did, wouldn't want to shop right now because I wouldn't want to carry anything. It's hot. Get me out of the heat. So I don't know if maybe that was it. My prices were too high. It's not the right crowd. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I haven't ever done this show before, so I don't have anything to base it off of. And I had never heard of it. Sorry. My, my arm's hurting. Um, and I had never heard of it prior to... Um, Robbie telling me about it so I really had no clue what to expect or anything like that and I really still don't because it's only been one day and 
weekend. So yeah, we'll have a better, better outlook tomorrow. See how it goes. Um, Brady and I'll be in the booth tomorrow. Tiny booth space. Fin and feather. Your booth spaces are tiny. I did not realize, I just didn't put it together that a six by eight booth is less than half the size of everybody else's normal size booth. Everybody else's, a 10 by 10 is standard, normal one booth spot. And I just didn't, it didn't click that that is less than half that size. Um, so I didn't get two booths because I just didn't put it together. I mean, obviously, had I done the math, I it would have been pretty clear right away. But, um, yeah, and you need AC. It that I, we're in a barn. We're in a barn. It's in. It's called the carriage house. It's so hot. Um, I guess yesterday somebody passed out which is not surprising, and I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't have somebody do that today, too. Yesterday was setup day, um, so I wouldn't be surprised if that didn't happen today as well. Um, it needs AC. I get, if you pick to have a booth outside, then it makes sense. Your booth's gonna be outside. Obviously, there is no way, unless they bring their own personal fans, to get around the heat in that case. But the booths that are inside and yeah, you've got a couple barn doors open and you've got two fans blowing into the room. It is not enough airflow, but that's just me. And now I shall stop complaining because nobody likes that. <laughs> but anyway, day one down. And I'll keep you posted with dinner tonight and um, if we do anything else. We're camping, uh, staying in Bob and Betty's motor home. And so, yeah, that's where I was last night. And yeah, we're staying there at uh, Tid Killer State Park, I think. Um, or Pine Grove or something like that. I don't remember. Um, okay, I'm going to take a nap now. So... Yeah, I'll talk to you later, maybe, <laughs> if I remember. But I'll definitely keep you posted on um, throughout the rest of the weekend. So, yeah, Brady's been doing pretty good at helping remind me to vlog. So, yeah, I'll do some that tomorrow. Okay, bye for now. Hello. Back to another chatty car session. <laughs> um, but uh, just finished with day three last day finished packing up the car if you can tell it's a table behind me and all the goods um finished just finished loading up uh brady and i's cars super drenched in sweat it's nasty um but yeah the show is over um overall it was pretty good i didn't really know what to expect because i had never heard of Finn and feather um fall festival so with that, it was pretty good. Um, we'll probably do the show again next year. Um, I think it was worth it. The hot, the hot, <laughs> the lack of AC, the heat, I mean, it's rough. Next year, it is a week later in the season. Um, and if that was the case this year, that would be fantastic because next weekend, I believe, is supposed to be in like the 70s. It's so a really nice weather. Um, so, if that happens again next year, then it would be nice outside. Um, but there's no telling. So um, yeah, Brady and I are letting our cars cool off. Um, I hate having to drive separate, but it doesn't all fit in one car. Um, so yeah, we're letting everything, oh, he's driving. All right, I'm gonna go now. <laughs>